Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this stained glass cracked statue kind of makeup. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. So the first thing that I did is using water-based gray face paint, I just went around and mapped out the areas that I was going to be filling in with the stained glass look. You don't really have to do this, but I found that it was easier to do this and then just paint on my bare skin. But if you want to cover your whole face in gray, go right ahead. I made this section on my jaw a little bit smaller and then I went in and started blending some paint onto my chin, but I decided that I wanted that area to be a little bit bigger and to cover some of my lip. So then I went and I just re-outlined and then I took a wipe and just kind of lightly cleaned it off. It's very easy to remove because it's water-based, so no problems here. Then I decided to go in with a brush. The beauty sponge that I was using was just making it kind of patchy and looking like I was dabbing little circles onto my face. So I used the brush and I just filled in all of the areas that were supposed to be gray. I gave myself about two coats of this paint so once the first coat was dry i just went over that with a little bit more and i made sure to cover my entire eye and my eyebrow just like every inch of my face you'll notice that my ears are not covered because i forgot them but i will cover them later at the end also if you're interested in all of the products that i used in this video be sure to check the description box because i will list everything there I also pulled the product down my neck and onto my shoulders. Then I went in with some black paint and I just pretty much drew out where my sections were going to be. So that's what that looks like. You don't have to do that, but I just felt it would be easier if I drew out the little sections of where I'm going to place each color. Then taking a matte black eyeshadow on a fluffy brush, I'm just going in and adding some shading on top of this gray face paint. You want to make sure that the face paint is totally dry before you do it. You can pretty much pick anywhere you want to. I picked just like random areas and then I pulled it right into my inner corner and up into my eyebrow kind of just to mask my eyebrow a little bit and create some shadow in that area. Then I used that same brush and just added some streaks of black down my neck. And then I went in with the water-based paint. So I used a bunch of different colors. I used purple, green, blue, and yellow, but you can use any paint colors that you have it doesn't really matter as long as they're not super dark and I just went in and filled in each little section with the color that I wanted it to be each color will eventually need a second coat of paint which I do off camera because I feel like you don't need to watch me fill in all of these little squares again but as you can see I'm just using a little detail brush and I'm just filling each one in as best that I can don't worry about covering the black lines a little bit because I will go over them later and redefine but just apply the paint to your face in the areas that you want the paint to be in. And this is what it looks like after the second coat is on. Then I'm going back in with the black on a little eyeliner brush and I am just outlining pretty much everywhere that I had the black before. I'm outlining all of my shapes and colors and I'm just making thin lines. You wanna make sure that you wait a little bit in between applying each color and between applying the black because you don't want the black to kind of mix with the colors. Then I'm going in with some black shadow and I'm gonna start adding shadows around the areas that I just filled in. But then I realized I have not done my ears, so I painted them gray. Now again, I'm going back in with the eyeshadow and I'm just applying this in areas, just applying the most black to the black line and then I'm blending it outward. I'm also using that black paint to create some cracks on my head, kind of like I was all gray, but it cracked away, thus leaving me with my interior exposed. And so that completes this makeup look. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my Halloween looks. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Alexis and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.